Hi, I'm Jennifer Kelly. Welcome to Feeding Your Life. Today we're making super scrumptious superfood energy bars. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my pan. And because these are going to be raw bars, of course we want them to be energy bars, so we're not going to bake the life out of them. We're going to keep them raw to preserve all the living enzymes and the raw nutrients. And so all I need to do is take a shallow baking pan and place a piece of wax paper or parchment paper in there and this is going to go into the freezer. So that's ready for later. And I'm going to be using wet ingredients and dry ingredients, so I'm just going to put the dry ingredients together first. So first I have one cup of rolled oats. And if you want these, gluten, these to be gluten free, then just make sure that your oats are labeled gluten free because there is a lot of cross contamination with oats, which should be naturally gluten free. Um, but unless they're labeled as such, then you really can't be sure. Uh, we're going to start then with a half a cup of shredded, unsweetened, raw coconut. And so we're going to get some good uh, substance and flavor in there, and of course the healthy fats that we're looking for. We've got a half a cup of hemp seed. Hemp is definitely a super food. It's a plant-based protein that is um, easily absorbed and really easy to access these days, easy to find anywhere. I've also got a half a cup of raw cacao nibs. And there are few foods that are better on the planet than cacao. Cacao is raw chocolate. Raw chocolate is off the charts when it comes to antioxidants, magnesium, mood boosting, um, serotonin boosting, absolutely one of the best foods on the planet. Um, so we definitely want that and of course it's going to make them taste great. I've got a quarter cup of sunflower seeds and a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds. And so I like to add in my seeds of course for the crunch, um, but of course we've also got some healthy fat in there, which is what the kind we want. Uh, your goji berries are also a great superfood, easy to incorporate. Um, they're one of the easiest superfoods that you can add into your life, and this is a real great way. So goji berries are a complete protein, which is not easy to find in plant life. And uh, so you do have all your essential amino acids there. And it's also the highest food in beta carotene, super high in vitamin C. Uh, it's a great overall energy booster. It's also a methyl donor, which helps to remove um, bad estrogens that we accumulate from all the plastics that we're uh, around and drinking our water out of, etc. Okay, so we love the goji berries. They're in there. And then I've got a tablespoon of ground chia. And I've ground them up just so that they'll incorporate better and then of course they'll be more easily digested. Uh, and I'm going to throw in also just because I love almonds and I love the protein, um, I'm going to throw in a quarter cup of almonds. And I just want to sort of mix this together with my hands and just sort of get everything nice and combined. And then I'm just going to set this aside while I put together the wet ingredients. So what I have is a quarter cup of almond butter uh, that's been sitting on the stove warming. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of also warm coconut oil. Okay, Coconut oil, as I said, these are the fats that we want. These are the medium chain triglycerides. These are the ones that although it's saturated fat, they're very easy to uh, for the body to use. And so that's the kind we want, you know. Saturated fat sort of got a bad name, but not all fats are alike, um, as is the case with most nutrients. I'm also going to put in some Celtic sea salt, which is the only salt that I use really. Um, I've become sort of a uh, completely biased to my Celtic salt. Even though Himalayan salt is wonderful and very nutritious, uh, I'm very partial to the taste of the Celtic salt, and so I love that. I love it also for the trace minerals and um, just for the um, the nutritional benefits. So we're going to just keep stirring this around until it becomes incorporated. And the last thing that I'm going to add for the major ingredients 
is some raw honey and it's very important that honey is raw honey is on the on the good sweeteners list and it's on the bad sweeteners list and that's because it can be very heavily processed and you know once we start processing something we start taking the life out of it honey is one of the most nutritious and beneficial foods on the planet full of enzymes and phytonutrients and we really don't want to um, lose out on those benefits by buying a honey that's been processed. So you want to look for raw, unfiltered, unprocessed, unpasteurized, unheated is what we're looking for really. Okay, so we're just going to add that to the wet mixture. And this is really what's going to hold our bars together. You could also use here a brown rice syrup would work really well. It's very sticky and in this case we do want the stickier the better because we want these to really hold together. In general I'm going to suggest that you keep these in the freezer when you're not eating them because they're really going to hold well together that way and then they'll just be there also they're not going to uh, go stale or moldy on the counter. Um, they'll just be there in the freezer for when you need them for your after school treat or sitting down with a cup of tea in the middle of the afternoon or after dinner when you just want like a little something sweet. Um, so these will be there for you. So we're just stirring this around and we're going to just make sure that it's all incorporated and then we'll just pour it over our dry mixture. And over the dry mixture, we'll just stir until it all comes together and just sort of keep stirring until all the dry components are a little sticky and they're starting to come together into a mound. And it's not going to really stay all together until it gets frozen, so don't worry if it's falling apart right now. That's okay. Okay, and so then we've got, oh, don't want to forget, a little vanilla extract. A little vanilla extract, will, about one teaspoon will do for this. And we're also going to put in a little bit of cinnamon, maybe a teaspoon of cinnamon also because cinnamon just makes everything taste good. And it also helps to curb your appetite a little bit. You know, sometimes when we go for the sweets and we can't stop, um, it's because we're eating all that refined sugar, which doesn't satisfy the body at all. But with some real ingredients and some cinnamon, you can really be satisfied with the just one. And so... We'll just keep stirring here. Okay, looks good, smells delicious. Anything with cinnamon smells delicious. And here we go, into the pan. Into the pan we go. And we're just gonna sort of spread down into the pan and press tightly so that the bars are going to really stick together and hold together once they're uh, cooled in the refrigerator or in the freezer. I like to put them in the freezer so they really get um, to be a, a really solid bar. And then I'll cut them afterward into little bite-sized pieces and uh, like I said, I'll just have them in the freezer for whenever I... Uh, need a super treat, a super energy bar, a super pick-me-up, uh, a living energy food right here in my kitchen. And so into the freezer we go with these and out of the freezer so you can see we have beautiful energy bars which hold together nicely as you can see and I'm going to enjoy this with a cup of tea I'm going to sit down, light a candle, enjoy my moment, savor the flavors 
take in the super scrumptious, oh, they're delicious, super scrumptious energy bars. A little sticky, a little chewy. They got the sweetness, they got the crunch, pretty much satisfies all cravings. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Jennifer Kelly, teaching you not just how to cook, but why. We'll see you next time.